What up? This is Vader Hater 2005 here with another Generation 1 Transformer review. This time we're going to be doing 1986 Cyclonus. Now, Cyclonus was introduced again in the 86 movie. There's a little, um, the little discussion about who is he. Is he Skywarp or is he Bombshell, the Insecticon? Personally, I think he's Skywarp, just because Skywarp's purple and the fact that in the 86 catalog, he was completely gone and replaced with Cyclonus, and the Insecticon still came out, so it was probably just an animation error, just to clear that up. But he, this is probably, of the Decepticons, my favorite figure, because he's accurate um, to what he looked like in the show, and he does come with landing gears, as you can see, that's how I'm displaying him. And he looks pretty nice. Um, he is a Cybertronian jet, and he also does come with an instruction booklet, and his little proton laser. But to start the transformation, first thing you're going to do is close up that piece right there, and push the feet out like so. Clip the legs down, like that. Then these wings can just slide to the back there. And then you move his arms like so, this way. And last piece is you take this whole entire piece right here and you display it like so, just like that. And that is Cyclonus in his robot mode. And let me actually put his gun into there. A uh, little cool note. Uh, two things, actually. There is such thing as the blue-eared version, and guess who has it? Me. Uh, he has blue ears right here. You can tell because uh, mainly this piece right here, these sharp painted pieces, and the waist piece right here is completely blue. It's like a darkish blue color. But, um, yeah. And the other version had silver ears, and then this was completely purple down here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. And another cool note is uh, Cyclonus' Target Master version came with Nightstick instead of his original gun, and sadly I do not have Nightstick. And, uh, oh, hold on. forgot this part. He also pushed his arms up like so. And um, that's pretty much it for his robot mode, and his nice sticker wear. Um, as for size, I don't have Galvatron with me now, but Galvatron is like up to here. He's like twice the size of this guy. Uh, one thing that I found in the instruction booklet is, this is really funny, in his jet mode he actually has a trap door function. If you take any Cyclonus, that piece actually comes out like so. And, yes, he's opening his butt. He, I don't know, he's taking a poop. There we go. Um, yeah, um, that's only displayed in jet mode, though. They're called his trap door mode. I actually found it out in the instruction booklet. So, little cool note. And, um, overall this is a pretty cool figure. I would definitely have him in your collection if you're a Decepticon fan of the new movie. And, um, that's pretty much all I can really say about Cyclonus. Um, I know that the Hasbro's Classics Target Master Cyclonus came out, but I do not have one. I'm looking on getting one because apparently you can actually fit the nightstick of his toy into um, a Target Master version of Cyclonus, so. and it's more accurate. Let me get him in a pose right there. Alright, and this is Vader Hater 2005, signing out. Peace.